Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Cracked Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the Iraqi Scud. So, that is a tactical ballistic missile developed by the Soviet Union, and it's mounted on a TEL or Transported Erector Launcher. The actual truck for this is a MAZ 543, also developed in the Soviet Union, and these are built by Sunset Aurora. She is a builder here on Foxshot, and I think it turned out uh, pretty nice. I also helped a bit with the design. And I have two different versions, so there's like one with it lying down. So I guess it's like the transport mode. And here is the erector mode. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, you want to place an upper sandstone slab. And then right in the front, we're going to add a birch wooden trap door. Then we want to make the slab uh, five blocks long. So one two, three, four, five, and then we're going to make a uh, three by five, so five blocks wide and three blocks long. And then we're going to add five in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to take out, um, what do you call it, another brick stairs, and we're going to make these uh, Oreo wheels on the side right here. So uh, just skip one block away from the very beginning where the sandstone slab is. Just add it to the side like that. And skip a block, add another one behind it. And go over here and do pretty much the same thing. It's going to be right next to these slabs. It's going to be an 8x8. Eight same thing on the other side. Remember, you put it on the outer edge. Go right there and add it like so. I know a lot of people have been asking for the scud since I made that Iraqi uh, tutorial earlier for the tanks. But now we finally did it. Alright, so now we're going to take a sandstone block. And in between each of the wheels, let's fill that in with like a 2 by 3 like that. Just because like you'll see like holes um, behind the wheel. And we need to cover that up. And also in the middle area, well at least in the front here, let me check. So right here we can fill in the middle area between the wheels as well. And you know what, let's just fill in the middle too. <laughs> All right, so right in this nook right here, we're gonna have uh, upside down sandstone stairs, like that. Same thing on the other side. Well, it's in the back, we're gonna have cut sandstone in between. And we're gonna add uh, three blocks long of cut sandstone towards the back, like this. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add cut sandstone two blocks here and the other side as well. Like that. So we have like these two towers. And I'm going to add a birch door in between each of them. Like so. So once we're done with that, we're going to have a bedrock in between these two wheels on top of the uh, stairs. Same thing on the other side. And then um, we're going to go towards the front. We need to add in all these underside parts. Um, so we're going to take sandstone block and add a 2 by 3 in the front, like this. And we're going to take sandstone slabs and we want to wrap it around the edge except the middle area, like this. So in the actual middle, we're going to have, we're actually going to delete this block here and add bedrock instead. And then we're going to add another brick slab in the middle and add two bedrocks diagonally forward like this. Then we're going to place a birch fence gate in the middle. Then we're going to take upside down sandstone stairs to add two blocks on either side of the bedrock. And then on the sides, uh, we're going to fill in uh, the walls in with cut sandstone right in this front area where the wheels are. And yes, towards cab. The back air is a little bit different, so we'll do that later. 
So in the front of uh, the cockpit, we're going to have uh, two uh, upside down facing each other Sansun stairs like that on uh, both parts like that. And behind it, we want a sandstone slab and then another facing each other upside down sandstone stairs. So just add it like so. More stairs. And in between that, we want to have a sandstone stairs facing inwards and another one that's kind of like curved towards the center like so and in that hole here I think I used black concrete just place that in there and then let's add this antenna just on the left hand side just two iron bars and then we'll have um, birch shut doors all along the, like the entire cab except the stairs so let's add that so we got that pattern and then we're going to go to the side here and we're going to add a cut sandstone block place that down behind it and then we're going to add four sandstone stairs so one two three four and then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing then we're going to add uh, two signs right over here right at the sides same thing over here and then we're going to go next to this door behind it add a sign and also add a sign between the back two wheels same thing on the other sides I guess it's pretty symmetrical and um, let's see let's add a sandstone stairs facing the front with a slab in the front of that both sides And then we're going to add a stone button, two blocks right next to this birch door. And stone buttons also on the side of the cab. Add two of them on both sides. We're going to also add in um, some signs next to this uh, birch fence gate. And we're going to add signs down below here. I'm not sure if this is quite necessary or not, but Sunset Aurora placed it here, so I guess that's just the design. <laughs> so now we're going to have an item frame with a white stained glass block for the headlights on the corners. Let's place item frame, white stained glass block, like so. Alright, so right above this bedrock, there's going to be a light gray carpet, so let's add that. And we're gonna add sandstone slabs, looks like three blocks after it, so one, two, three. And add sandstone block behind the stairs on the sides. In the middle, we're gonna make a cross shape using bedrock. So that cross is actually four blocks long of bedrock. One, two, three, four, and the handlebars like that. I don't know, what do you call it, the arms? And after that, we're gonna add two sandstones alongside the bedrock. And then we're going to add a stone brick stairs on the sides and the middle stone brick slab. Then we're going to take a stone, actually sandstone stairs at three blocks on the sides, both sides like that. So it's curved inwards. And let's add a sandstone slabs, um, two slabs like that right above that door. And then we're going to have levers. And we're going to place that along the side, so this is actually should be, okay, three. Let me check the other side, okay. So we're going to add three levers down like that. Put them all down. And let's work towards the back. There's going to be two sandstone slabs right here in the back. And don't forget to add in these uh, pistons that you have to make sure they point uh, downwards like that I guess they hold the missile in place like that both sides and let's add a lever uh, right above it 
Okay. And you can pull it down. All right. So next thing we do, let's add um, some more levers right over here in the back. So there's going to be four, like a two by four almost. So go right towards the back, add four levers per side. And they all should point towards the center. All right. So um, from this point on, I think it's gonna like kind of like diverge. So I'm gonna be building, I guess, how the missile is erected. Okay, so I'm just gonna actually like clone this. Yeah, I'll clone it. So we're gonna make the deployed variant. So to do that, we're gonna go to the back, add a stone brick stairs in the middle, and then birch wooden trap doors on the sides of it. And then behind that, let's place some blocks temporarily right above where we're going to place our dispenser which we want to face it upside down or towards the ground so looks like a giant hole like that and delete these blocks so it looks like this now we're going to add a sandstone slab right underneath it and then um there's this oak wood trap doors all around it like so and on top, we're going to add quartz block. Now the quartz, it's going to be 12 blocks tall. So add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. The tip, we're going to have uh, two cobblestone walls and an end rod. Like so. All right, so let's go down over here and add white stained glass panes. I'm gonna add the fins like this. I know in like the real ones like diagonal, but just to be consistent, we're just making it like this because it is thinner. At least we got that going for us. And then we're gonna skip one block above uh, the the panes and add a sandstone stairs on the sides, like so. And let's add this little arm that hydraulic that moves up so we could add uh, two birch fences here and we go diagonally forward at three like so all right so then we're going to take our fence uh, birch fences and go all the way up to where the cobblestone wall is same thing on the other side and we're going to make it uh, one block taller than that then we're going to switch it up to um, iron bars, let's add three blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three, and we're gonna add an iron trap door in the middle at the very top. All right, and then let's add in uh, these, I guess these side walls down below, and then we're pretty much done, so Let's see how we're gonna do this. Uh, let's see, let's... Yeah, can I just do that? Just place a bunch of birch wooden trap doors on the sides. And we want to make them all like, um, folded up like that. I guess just close them all up. We don't need that one at the top. Close, close, close. All right, cool. So we got the launcher variant now we're gonna make it when it's in transport mode so I cloned it right over here so if you want to make that version first thing we're gonna do we want to like extract uh, the pistons away from the ground and then we're gonna add a stone brick stairs and we want to have it facing upside down this time with an iron trap door behind it and what else is here we're gonna add a birch fence and a fence gate on the sides, like so. <laughs> I did not place that one right. So it looks like this. And then we wanna have like this three by three grid of, I guess, uh, oak wood trap doors, like a block behind, so like right there. I hope it makes it, you know what, I'm going to make this a whole lot easier, I'm just going to make like a 3x3 three three blocks temporarily, so it's 3x3 three three 
doesn't take ages to make it. And then we're going to place our wood shop doors down. And we're going to close them all up. And yeah, that's pretty much how we're going to do that. And we're going to like delete these blocks again. And we want to have the dispenser right there in the middle, that hole. So let's, uh, let's place some blocks again. I guess just place like a quartz block uh, two blocks away from the oak wood trap door. And then we're going to open the middle up and uh, put a dispenser inside and close that up. All right, so now we're going to add um, quartz blocks. So it is 12 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're going to add uh, two cobblestone walls. One, two, a birch fence gate in the middle. Oh no, where did it go? So we're gonna delete these two blocks and fill that in with uh, sandstone slabs. And then we'll place our birch fence gate and an end rod in front of that. All right, then we'd go add our fins in the back. Just add uh, two blocks of white stained glass panes on all four cardinal directions like that and then we're going to skip a block away from that and add an upside down sense some stairs on the sides then we're going to oh wow this one actually doesn't have a slab right there so that is kind of a bit tricky so i guess we'll just delete the slabs just to place um or you don't Maybe you don't even need to add the birch trap doors all the way. Let me see how this works. All right, come on. So close that up. So I guess it's optional whether you want to keep this or not. So maybe it looks, it does look better if we just make it all uh, trap doors like that. All right, so delete this and do the same thing on the other side, I guess. Just trying to like, crouch in midair. Oh no. What did I delete? Seriously, what did I delete? I feel I definitely do. Oh yeah, the trap door was there. Iron trap door. Put it back. All right, so back on the show, let's add uh, upside down stone brick stairs right underneath the dispenser. All right, so one thing I totally forgot when I was building the Erector version, I forgot this thing, the trap door on the top. So let's add that right now. So just skip these two quartz blocks, and add a birch trap door and put it down. And we're gonna do the same thing, but right over here when the laid down version, just add a birch trap door like that after the second uh, quartz block. All right, cool. So on this version, there's actually like a fair amount of stuff underneath the missile that's holding it up. All right, so next we're gonna go to the second to last wheel and we're gonna add a uh, stone brick stairs in the middle and two hoppers behind it and two hoppers in front of it, a uh, birch fence and another hopper. So um, <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't really have it, but maybe we can transfer the detail at a stone brick stairs, I mean a stone brick slab, right at the second to last wheel. All right, so next let's add in the fence gates that go all the way towards the top, right over here alongside the quartz block. We're gonna add it until it goes to, what is? So we need to delete these blocks here because they're in the way and should go to this cobblestone wall. Just one block in. Delete the levers, because we can't place the fence gates there. All right. And they should all like connect up together. And we're also going to go over here, delete this slab right in front of the fence gate. Uh, fill in the floor underneath, sandstone. And let's add an end rod right in front of um, the fence gates like that on the sides. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the Iraqi Scud in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, remember to hit that like button down below. 
because that really helps grow the channel. And thanks to Sunset Aurora for designing this here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.